Let's see. Junk, junk, junk. Ooh, magazines. <gasps> What's this? You are invited. Oh, I got an invitation. Where am I going to? You are invited to Pentecost. What is Pentecost? You know what? That sounds like a question for Google. Let's see. What is Pentecost? Oh, it's a multiple definition. There's two definitions for it. The first one says it's a Jewish harvest festival. Hey, I'm not Jewish. Why would I be invited to that? I know Jesus was Jewish, but I'm not. Okay, let's look at the second definition. Maybe that'll work better. The seventh Sunday after Easter, when the Holy Spirit descended on Jesus' disciples and enabled them to speak in other tongues. <gasps> is today the seventh Sunday after Easter? I think it is. That must be what I'm invited to. You know, before Jesus ascended to heaven, he told the disciples that the Holy Spirit was going to come upon them and that they would be able to spread the news of the gospel to everyone around the world. And then the disciples just had to wait because Jesus didn't tell them when it was going to happen. But on Pentecost, they were all gathered together and the Holy Spirit descended on them. And they were able to speak in other languages to share the good news about Jesus. And that was a wonderful start. In fact, it says that thousands of people were baptized that day and they were saved. Man, that is worth celebrating. You know, we don't speak in different languages, but we have God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit on our side every day. And we can still spread the good news. When you're kind to people, when you give them compliments, when you say nice things to them, that is being a disciple of Jesus because you're acting just like Jesus would have done. So today we can celebrate Pentecost because it was a wonderful day and the start of sharing the good news with everybody around the world. Happy Pentecost. Bye.